Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Each state has its own rules regarding workers' compensation insurance. You can ask your insurance agent or your local state's Department of Labor if you have questions about your state's requirements. If you are using QuickBooks Integrated Workers' Compensation Payment Service, you will not need to worry about these reports. The service will make your payments and file the appropriate forms. The easiest way to track workers' compensation is to assign each employee a workers' comp class. This lets you sort reports by class. If you do not create classes for your employees, the reports sort employees by name. To set a workers' comp class for employees, click the Employees link in the navigation bar to open the Employees page. Click the name of the first employee to open the Employee Details page. Click the pencil icon next to the Employment link to open the Employees Employment Details page. Type the name of the workers' compensation class into the Workers' Comp Class field in this page and then click the Done button in the lower right corner when finished. Repeat this process for all the employees for whom you want to enter a workers' comp class. The workers' compensation report shows the wage paid for each workers' compensation class you have assigned to an employee, giving you the information for state forms at your fingertips. This report can be adjusted to reflect a specific time range. It shows premium wages paid, which are the extra amounts paid for overtime or double time pay. It also shows wages paid, which reflects the total amount of wages you paid the employee for the date range selected. To view the workers' compensation report, click the Reports link in the navigation bar. From here you can type workers' compensation into the search bar and select it from the list to open the report page. Alternatively, click the All Reports link. Then click the Manage Payroll link below that, and then click the Workers' Compensation Reports title. Use the Date Range dropdown to select the time period for the report. If you have multiple work locations, use the Work Location dropdown to select the correct location. Then click the Run Report button. If a print button appears on the screen, click it to open your web browser's print dialog box. If you do not see a print button, click the drop-down in the upper right corner of the report and select the Printer Friendly command to open a preview window. Then click the print link in the preview window to print the report. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.